So here we are out on site where the nine metre cases were delivered earlier in the week. If you didn't catch that video, jump over onto YouTube. We got a bit of footage of a nine metre case manufactured on site and getting that loaded up onto the truck. So here it is over at our customer. Our team's actually been called out here to pack up the machinery for export. So right now, as you can see, it's just a base with the machine on top. The silver foil that you see on there is actually a barrier foil. And the idea of this material is to help in eliminating any rust and corrosion while the product's actually out in transit. So as you can imagine, going out uh, in the shipping containers for a number of weeks, it's exposed to some pretty high conditions um, weather-wise. So we need to make sure that these guys haven't wasted their money in shipping this machine overseas, ensuring that no rust and corrosion occurs while it's in transit. So the next stage here, the guys are actually removing the air out of the bag. They'll then secure it with the stretch wrap and we'll erect the case around this itself and then we'll actually get it loaded into the shipping container that you can see down the end. So, so there's, there's a bit of a process involved and depending on what your budget is and what your requirements are, we're happy to talk to you and see what it is that you need and how we can help you. So behind me here, the guys are actually starting to construct the case. So we've got a few of the panels being bought over. We've got some pretty serious forklifts on site over here to get this job done. I think our guys would be jealous over at Ubico. I think they'd like one of these. It would have made the job a lot easier to get out of the factory the other day. So. So Tony, do you normally get roped into doing work when you come out to inspect a job? Always. Always? Yes. Uh, I'm willing to help. Yeah. <laughs>